early returns on Jay Gruden's first training camp are mostly good, but you would expect that at this point. Is he the anti Mike Shanahan? <laughs> well, yeah, Jay Gruden is the anti Mike Shanahan. He hasn't won two Super Bowls. <laughs> he hasn't gotten three quarterbacks to the Hall of Fame uh, and tutored them. And, and I think that the body of work is really unspoken for at this level. I, I think when we talk about Mike Shanahan, we shouldn't just talk about last season. This is a guy who did get this team to an NFC East title and its first playoff uh, game in, shoot, seven years or, or five years. Right. And so, um, but, I, but I do like that he's, um, he's almost forgotten about the past and he's not looking for the future. He's very much in the moment. He's not, the, the, whatever happened before him, he's not shouldering 20 years of guilt for this franchise not going to a Super Bowl. Scott, what are your thoughts of, on, on his sort of first week so far in the early returns? Yeah, I mean, everything coming out of the players' mouths has been great. And you kind of expect that in kind of this honeymoon period, going back to what Santana Moss said back in April or so, that it's kind of like having a new girlfriend. Like everything's still great now. I don't think we'll really have a great idea until they start playing some games. But you almost feel for Robert Griffin III talking about Jay Gruden and this new coaching staff. And without even saying Shanahan, you know, it's kind of spun as because Gruden is so different than Mike Shanahan, all the adjectives coming out of Robert yeah. Griffin III's mouth. Well, obviously, that's a shot at Mike Shanahan. So, so far, I, I do think they are kind of polar opposites in how they operate. Dan. And I would say not just um, the experience, but also the way, I mean, you can see the image behind us. He's, he's like out there on the field, like doing drills. I think he's like playing defensive back in some drills against receivers. You know, Mike Shanahan's classic pose during practice was like the arms across his chest, kind of just standing there and surveying everything. Yeah. And that's not CEO. what Gruden does. You know, yeah. whether the body language differences on a practice field in August mean anything at all, <laughs> like probably not, but they are certainly very, very different guys from the age to the experience to the severity of kind of the way they act with people. I mean, he's much, much more of a kind of player's coach at this point in his career. Uh, the only thing I would caution is we got giddy about Mike Shanahan being the anti-Jim Zorn right. four years ago. And that was sort of a, and, and I, if you Google to this morning, Mike Shanahan, adults in charge in 2010, you will come up with a lot of hits. And, and by the end of it, he was as juvenile as anybody <laughs> working for this franchise. So, so I, you know, I, like I said, early returns, I think w once he forges his own identity, he seems to be, want to be a little bit more physical coach. Mm -hmm. I mean, he wants guys putting pads on and popping, and, and he, wants, he wants them to have more physical identity. But um, in many ways, I, think, I, I don't think it's about Jay Gruden as much as it's about Jim Hazlitt. In some ways, well, I, I, I think that defense. I really worry about it. And well, and our good buddy Jason Reed wrote on Monday um, that you know Shanahan had his fingerprints on everything, and that was his style, right? And he had won two Super Bowls, as you mentioned. Gruden very much hands off, willing to delegate, trust in his coaches. Do you expect that to continue, or is that just a is that just uh, because it's a new head coach feeling his way through? Scott, what do you think on that front? I mean, I think Jason Reed touched on it in his column that. You know, in preseason, it's, it's easy for him to right. empower his coaches and kind of let them handle the drills and do things their own way. And I think the players appreciate that. And certainly the coaches, Sean McVay in particular, has talked about how that makes them feel like someone's not always looking over their shoulder. Mm -hmm. but, but Jason Reed mentioned that, you know, at some point in the season when things are going tough, it's going to come down on, on Jay Gruden to not deflect that responsibility and, and make a move. You know what I think, I, kind of separate from that, I, I'm kind of surprised by how much John Gruden has been around. He was mm. at Redskins, one of the OTAs during the offseason. He was like the keynote speaker at a Dan Snyder event, and he was down there again doing a coach's clinic for the Redskins. If, if I were Jay, I, you know, already there's kind of this sense that, that he was – you know, helped greatly in his career by his last name. I would be like, dude, give me a little space. Stay away for a little while. Yeah, it's, it's a gotta, tough it's one because on one hand, you want to spend starts. time with your brother who you're not going to get to see a lot during the season. But I agree with you. I think one of the hardest things for John Thompson III in this town is mm -hmm. overcoming his father's shadow. His father shows up at the press conferences all the time at the games. At some point, I'd be like, Pops, you've done more than anything for this program. Right. I need to be my own man at some point. 